Now, as a kid, I watched a lot of hood movies, and I mean a lot. And I always had an interesting outlook on the characters. So in this series, I'm going to be analyzing the most famous and infamous characters in hood movies. And even though this series is called Analyzing Hood Heroes, I know a lot of these people will be considered far from heroes. But in the hood, technically, you look up to the villains, the niggas who get money by any means. Since most people are broke, those are the role models. And those are the people the kids want to be when they grow up. Because they got the money, the hoes, and the clout. But let me stop yapping. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Welcome to... Analyzing Hood Heroes, Omar Little. Now, The Wire is a TV show pretty much about the drug game in Baltimore, not far from where I'm from. And in this series, Omar Little is pretty much a dude who robs drug dealers and goes around whistling while he does it. He is widely feared by all the petty and mid-level drug dealers throughout the series. And on multiple occasions, whenever he pops up, the niggas he robbing, they just give it up, even when they may have the advantage. But this is going to be a wild thing to say. The most prominent thing that sticks out to me about Omar is that he's gay. Because whenever you think about a thug or a gangster, and don't get me wrong, Omar is gangster. You never think about a gay dude. Under normal circumstances, if the streets find out a dude was gay, he would lose all respect. And it really struck me as interesting. Omar is gay, but people still fear him. Because don't get me wrong, especially back then, a lot of people would look at him in disdain because he's gay. But even though in their mind they may look at him as a little different, they knew better than to show it. Because one thing about Omar, he does not play. And it was just shocking to me because a lot of times when you would see like, you know what I'm saying, a third character laid up with a girl, he was laid up with a dude. And I'm not homophobic, but that was just interesting to see, especially back then. But it did not reduce his fear factor not one bit. Omar was still a killer. And although his enemies often refer to his sexuality while talking about him, They seldom said shit to his face. And even though I'm not gay, I just have to say that's gangster. Being open about what you are in a world that doesn't respect you, especially in the projects, and still being just as feared, if not more, than the kingpins. Hey, I don't know anybody else in TV history breaking barriers like that. A gay black gangster? That's unheard of. You black, so the white people hate you. You gay, so everybody looks at you different back then. And you a gangster, so the white people hate you again. So with Omar, it was like him against the world, literally. Now let's talk about Omar's whistling. Anytime Omar would go on the prowl to rob drug dealers, he would start whistling. He was pretty much letting them know he's coming and still rob them anyway. That just shows how tough he is and how much he was feared. Imagine making a whole block of drug dealers run because they hear you whistling. That sounds silly, right? But Omar is not your regular robber. It's like a game to him. One time he robbed a stash house, not for money, but for a location. How much you asking? Oh, we free. Free? I'm saying I got a little proposition for you. Proposition is you get four G-packs for free. You give me some better idea on how I can reach Avon. Like I said, it's all the gates one. And he's good at it. And another reason I absolutely love Omar is because it always seemed like he has no fear. With the things he was doing, he was ready to die any day. Not saying he was going to go down easy because Omar's a hard man to kill. But he goes head to head with such prominent drug dealers knowing it could end in his demise one day. And Omar had a code. He wasn't your average thug. He would only rob other people in the game. No civilians, no stores, and absolutely no children. And I'm about to do a spoiler even though this TV show is 20 years old and if you haven't watched it yet, the kick rocks. But Omar's outlook on children literally led him to an early grave. Let me get one of them too. <laughs> There's no way Omar would have let his guard down around anybody who was grown. But Omar wasn't fond of hurting children and he didn't see them as a threat a lot of the time. And I think sometimes he even used them to his advantage if I remember correctly. But I think it's safe to say that his outlook got him smoke, even though many other people do look to children as harmless. In that time period in the area, people were getting children in the drug game early. So it's safe to say literally anybody at that point is a threat. Damn, you made it to the end. Oh, for the first time on this channel. I'm not gonna lie, I could have made this video longer. You know what I'm saying? But it's my first video on this channel. I don't want to bore y'all. Man, what's up to my first thousand subscribers on this channel? You know what I'm saying? But what I want you to do for this first video ever, you know what I'm saying? Instead of a code word, I don't know if we're gonna do code words on this channel. I want you to comment what you want to see on this channel. What type of videos? So with all that being said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Oh dog, out!